Today was a very stressful day when I woke up I found out that my website got hacked it's one of the website I manage and you can see here this is redirected to the scam website Microsoft security website you can see it's clearly scam website because I just want to tell you how you know this scam website you can see the URL here this URL here is not a Microsoft URL and whenever you see this kind of stuff it's always scam website in such cases what I do I just go to my reliable plugin wordfence and I scan the website so the, I did the same thing and then I click on scan you can see I find no problem with malware on the website but I know because I could see here website is hacked at the malware at the database injection on the site so my website is directing to this scam website and WordPress did not give me any malware activity on the website then what I did naturally what I do I go to this reliable plugin which is anti malware plugin but what was happened it always gets stuck at 98% and gave me no infection on the website and this time I start getting stressed because today I had a lot of works to do I already had a meeting with the client and now this start making me stress because today is a special day today is 28th of February and this is the last day of the month and in France I need to pay taxes for the whole month I earn the income so this was last day I need to pay the taxes I already have some meetings scheduled I need to book tickets to go to India because I'm going to India soon to travel and I had more work to be done but both of my reliable plugins wordfence and anti malware refused to work and I could not fix it and this is the problem with wordpress wordpress is real nice cms but just one thing is because we use so many plugins and third party scripts it's really hard to maintain the security and it was also my fault because time to time I scan the website I keep them updated but this time I just forget to do that okay no way so what I did I did not want to go into the code because that might take a lot of time and I did not have time so what I did maybe you also find some inspiration if that happened to you you can take some notes what you can do so luckily I could enter the back end of the website so what I did I go to add plugin and then I search for malware so maybe another malware remove plugin I can install and they can help me so what I did I just first installed security security plugin you can see its activity on my website and you here you can see security worked and you can see code wordpress files were modified and you can see site is not clean I could see the malware injection here but I do not want to go in code it's going to take a lot of time to clean the website so there is no other option you can just click on 20% off and you go here and then 20% off you can get and you need to pay something for example you can say pricing is already you paid $250 but you know I'm a developer I don't want to pay for this so I'll okay let's let's find the next option so I install another plugin all in one security and then so what it does is just file detection and malware scan so malware scan again they are asking to subscribe to something but or any other way it was not very clear how to do this they want to do somewhere else and you can see no contract cancel at time again it was a problematic issue and this point I was like okay I don't know what should I do I already have the backup this is a good thing you always keep backup of your website time to time so I could take the backup but then again I need to check when the website got hacked so it might take some time and then I tried another plugin which is this plugin defender security you can see 90 plus thousand active insertion by WPMU dev so I installed this plugin plugin directly guess you have 10 security issues little bit complicated you don't know how to fix the issues where to fix the issues so I'm just going to tell you what worked for me you can see here there's no option to click or fix these issues if you even go here there's no option to fix this issue so what you need to do here you go here on malware scanning on left side and then you can see all the issues here so all these issues they are problematic on the website and you need to upgrade for more issues so I don't want to upgrade I just want to make this fix and keep website updated which is the most important thing if you keep website updated you have one or two security plugin website anti malware plugin time to time your website will be safe so let's try first this plugin so I'm going to click all the issues and then bulk actions and then I'm going to delete it guys please make sure do not delete anything which is required for website if you're in a situation where your website has got hacked you can always book a consultation call with me I'll add the link in the description to know we can see what needed to be done on your website okay and then I click on apply and then confirm I hope it should work and I should not go in so add the code and remove complete uh, infection by myself let hope it works okay now the page is blank what's happening if I reload the page okay it's it's just blank seems like site is broken I cannot access the website it seems the plugin which I use this defender plugin broke the website in this case what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna first move I'm gonna first remove the defender plugin this is gonna be very complicated I don't know how we're gonna fix it so I go to plugins folder and then all the new plugins for security like security everything I uninstalled it one by one I just you know rename the plugins select the plugin and right click you rename the plugin for example let's say back and then 
this plugin will deactivate it. So just like this, I completely deactivated all the plugins I installed for security because they broke the website. I just want to keep the original WordFence and anti-malware plugin which exists on my website. So I did it, but when I go back, it didn't work. Then what I needed to do, I went back and then I opened the wp-config file. In wp-config file, I add these three lines which are important to display all the errors on my website. So now it should work now. I should know why website is not working, but it did not work. And then finally what I did, I right click on STX's file and then I opened this file. Then in this file, when I went in the end, everything was looking nice. And then I found this thing. This is code added by AIO plugin to work properly with Lightspeed Cache plugin, but it broke the website. This was the issue. And then what I did, I click on save changes. Now you can see my website end panel working again, but website is still infected. So I went to a reliable plugin because all the plugin broke the website and this plugin took a lot of time. And then if I click on automatic fix selected files, okay, fix two files, fail to fix zero. Okay, that's it. And finally it fixed the website. Okay, why I told you all this story? What is the purpose of telling you all these stories? I, I told you all this story just to give learning that do not take your website security lightly. I am a developer for many years. If it took me so much of hassle to do all this thing, it's gonna be really complicated for you guys. So what I say is to you, what you need to do now? Use at least one security plugin and then this plugin. The malware plugin, you should use this plugin. So I will suggest you to use this plugin. Please add your website on Cloudflare, guys. It's really important. I know there's a lot of negativity around Cloudflare on the internet, but please add Cloudflare on your website. It might save you a lot of trouble. Second thing what you need to do is keep your website updated all the time. So ideally you should update your website every day. But if you cannot do every day, please update your website every week. That's really, really important guys. And one last but very important tip, always keep backup of your website, have a automated system on your site which take your website backup every day at least for database and every week for files. And also do not trust on the local backup set up a backup which goes to a google drive or dropbox or somewhere else if you want to know how to set up this kind of backups i will add the link in the description and along with the videos how to keep the proper security of the website do not take your website security lightly let me know what you think about all these things and if you're in similar thing you cannot fix your website which is hacked i will add my link in description we can fix it by plugins if we cannot i can go in the code help you out with the code so we can fix it if there's no other option available if you like the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and please check this video on the screen which will really help you to secure your website.